Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing a Photoshop Elements slideshow here in Photoshop Elements 2020 Organizer. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, click on that bell icon so you get notifications of my new videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. We're here inside of the Photoshop Elements 2020 Organizer, and we'll be doing a slideshow using the built-in slideshow utility. The first thing you need to do is to select several pictures. I have lots of duplicates in here, and that's just because I have different versions of things that I'm working on them. But I'll pick a few of these. Let's just take that one right there. There's a little check mark that comes in. This one is now selected. Click it again, it's not selected. Click it again, it's selected. Hold the control key down and you can click on other images and select those as well. So let's go through and just get just a few of these. Let's just grab a couple more here. There we go. Let's have a nice little selection now of photos that are checked or selected. We're now ready to launch the organizer slideshow utility and get these into a slideshow. And that's up here where it says create. Click on that and it's your top option right up there. Now when you do this, it's going to then load those images into the slideshow utility and it's going to give them a basic theme and slideshow template as a starting point. We can then modify that once that's done. Now it's not real fast, it's kind of a slow process here. We'll see how fast this goes. Actually not too bad. You can kind of hear the music in the background. Maybe I'll turn that music off. Let's just turn the volume down. There we go. So this is the default slideshow that it sets up. And it'll give you a different one each time. It kind of does these on random choices. So I'll just let this thing run through. It's only 37 seconds long. Right down here you can see that. 37 seconds is at 22 seconds right now. And this is the slideshow that you'll get. And the nice thing about this utility is that it's very quick, as you can see, to do a fairly nice professional looking slideshow. Let that finish off. There we go. Now the problem is that it's not that flexible. You can do a fair amount of stuff in here, but not a lot of things. So let me show you what you can do and what you can't do, and a few things about the basic interface in here. First off, right down here, there's your volume control. This is just the playback volume control. There's your final time, your total length of your video. And this is your position in the video. Of course, there's your slider control and your play button. Upper right-hand corner, we can save this out, either save it to the organizer right here or save it as, which is just giving it a different name or you can export this out to YouTube or Vimeo, or you can put it as video onto your hard drive and then put that anywhere else that you want to once you have it as a video on the hard drive. Left-hand side over here, these, just ignore those menus up there. This is actually the organizer menu kind of showing through in the background. So you can't actually access any of these things while you're in the slideshow utility. So just ignore that stuff. The back button, takes you out of the slideshow and back into the organizer. That's what that does. Over here are the three main controls for working with the slideshow. The first one shows you your slides. There they are. The second one gives you your different themes. And the third one gives you your music options to play in the background of the slideshow. Go up here to the top one. This is the media. Now, Photoshop Elements automatically gives you an opening title card right here, kind of a slide card. If you right click on this and see edit right there, click on that, you have a choice in here of three different images. There it is, just three images. And you can change the title and you can change the subtitle. Right there's your title and there's your subtitle. That's all you can do as far as changing this in here. You can't do anything else. It's just very, very limited as I mentioned. You can though add in additional slides if you want to and that's the button right up here, Add Text Slide. Click on that, you get another text slide, you can give it another title and a subtitle, and add that in, and you get another text slide. So you could use this to set up different sections in a slideshow. You can reorder your slides by grabbing a slide, click on it, make sure it's checked, and you can then drag that someplace else. See that little thin blue line right there, it kind of pops up between those pictures. 
And you see that that's where the slide is going to go. Let go and it goes into that position. So you can easily rearrange these slides as well. So we have opening title slide. We have this slide down here, which is just a standard text slide. It can be used to divide sections. Same thing if you right click on this, you can edit this, change your title, change your subtitle. And again, you have those same three options in here for the visual for that slide. You can also get rid of a slide, just right click on this and click on remove and you can remove a slide. You can add in more slides, that's up here. You can add in photos and also videos from the organizer. So you can have little video clips inside of your slideshow if you want to as well. Either from your organizer or just go to a location on your hard drive and bring those in right down there. Let's go ahead and bring in one more slide here. I'll bring it in from the organizer. Get a little mini window, which you can see here. You can do a little search if you want to. Media with starred ratings, hidden media. It's going to a little bit of a search in there. I'll just scroll down. We'll find another nice picture to drop in here. Let's see what we've got. And I'll put the dog in. That's always fun. Choose done. And there's our next slide. So easy to add slides in, easy to take them out, easy to put in text slides as well. You also can add in captions. Just click on the little check box right here. And you get a caption box down below. Let me just put these captions in here. I'll do caption one right here. Let's just do caption one, caption two here. Caption two. So you can easily place in captions. Once you've done that, you can go back to your slideshow. Let's close this down here. Click on your media button. It's going to regenerate the slideshow with those new captions. And you'll see those in a second. And here we go. There's the caption one right there. We just did that one. And our next slide will come in in a bit here and there's the caption too right down there. Now the typeface that the caption is in and the size and the position, all those things are built into the slideshow. So you can't change any of it. You can't change the typeface. You can't change the size. You can't change the position. All that is built into the themes. But again, it's real easy to add that in though. So for a fast slideshow, this is really a pretty good little program. Okay, so that finishes off the media section up here. Let's now come down to the next one. This is our themes. And there are several pre-built themes. Now the themes control the animations and the timing of your slideshow. They also control the images that are in those text cards. Let's click on our watercolor up here. And I'll close that down. It's going to reapply that. There it is. It will then replay using that new watercolor theme. So there's the watercolor effect right there. You see this has kind of an interesting little watercolor painting kind of thing. There's our caption one. Here's the caption two. Notice how the positioning and the animation and the typeface changes with this new theme. So that information is built into the themes. Okay, just pause that and we'll go back up here again. We'll go real fast through these. You can see what these look like. Here's our black and white. You can also click apply down here. We'll then apply that theme. And once again, it's going to go back to the beginning and run the theme for you. There's the black and white theme. It's kind of a black and white look with color on top. There's the caption one again right down there. And there's that interesting little animation happening in there. There we go. Okay, you can see how that works. Let's now go back to our themes. Here's a woods theme. I'll just click on apply right here. And let's let this run and give us a fast look at this woods theme. There we go. Once again, all this stuff is built in. The images here are built in. Animation is built in. The typeface for your caption is built in. And see so the other caption right down here. These animations are all built into that particular theme. Since we're on this wood theme, let's go back up here to our media again. You can see there's that wood image. If you right click in here, click on edit. You then have a choice in here of three different looks you can use for these text slides. Again, this is built in. The images are built into the themes. Okay, here's our themes again. Just a couple more down here. We have the pan and zoom. That's the one that is the first one that comes up. That's what we saw when we first brought up this program, brought up the slideshow. There's also a city lights. Let's take a fast look at this one and apply. And then we have our classic. I kind of like the city lights person. I think it's a nice looking slideshow. And it looks like 
these kind of bokeh lights in there. That's that Japanese phrase for that kind of out of focus lighting with the slides in on top. Notice again the positioning for the captions has changed. It's now up here with a different typeface. Okay. And one last one on our themes. That's the classic at the very bottom. Again, click on apply. We'll let it rebuild the slideshow with that new theme. And there we go. And let this go ahead and play through. So here's our first slide and there's that same caption again. Okay, so that is a look at the different themes in here. And then finally, our last option down here is audio. And there are several audio tracks you can run in the background. This is a, a soundtrack. It runs clear through the whole slideshow. You can see the length of your music piece down here on the right hand side. If you want to add one in, just click that plus button. It adds it in over here. You can actually change the order just by dragging and dropping these in here. So if you had a longer slideshow, you could use several musical clips. Ours is only 37, or actually this time it's 47 seconds because longer animation, I'm guessing. So for that, it would only go through just a little piece of just one of these. To remove one of these tracks, click on your little minus right there, and it takes that track out. You don't have to only use this audio, though. You can bring in other audio. Click on this button right here. This will then bring up a browse window. There we are. And you can then browse for other music as well and add in other music. And it takes most standard audio files right there. Okay, that's the music section. Now, once you're done, once you're happy with your basic slideshow and you've put your captions in or not as you want to, you've chosen which theme you want to use, you've decided which audio you want to use in here, once all that is done, then all you need to do is simply save this out to whatever location you want to do. Click on save. It's going to save that right back into the organizer. You can give it a name. It will then save it into the organizer. I'll just do this one as sample. And we'll have this as a sample slideshow. Click on save. There it is. Saved successfully. If you do a save as, it's just a name change. So you can save it to a different name if you want to. Now the reason for this is you can reopen a saved slideshow. I'll show you that in just a second. And you can then use that as a template for other slideshows and simply do a save as to a different name so you don't overwrite your existing slideshow. Okay, then we have the other options up here to export to YouTube or Vimeo or to export the video to a local hard drive. Give it a file name, find a location for it, and choose your preset quality either 720p or 1080p, both high def qualities. Okay, once you're all finished, just click on the back button right here. It takes you back into the organizer and you should see your slideshow right up here. Now it's just showing me the first image. You can't really tell if this is a slideshow, except way up here, a little icon right there, kind of a little play button right there, a bit hard to see on this one. If I double click on this, there it is. It takes us right back into the slideshow program again. We can then go back and do more editing on that. All right, there you go. That's how you make slideshows here inside of Photoshop Elements 2020. Just go back here again to the organizer. Okay, we'll bring that back up again. Just double click on the slideshow and once again back here into our slideshow. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.